Hello. What's up, guys? Yeah, I finally switched to emulator because I was getting fed up with N64. Not impossible to see today. Well, I'm also doing glitch logic, so it also shouldn't be impossible either. I'm using PG64. I guess I might as well put that there. Graphics plugin, uh, Glide N64, I think. Uh, oh, it doesn't show up for you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Glide. Uh, I had to do a lot of messing around with settings to get stuff right. And I, pr I probably still need to mess with settings more, but I, I spent like hours trying to get input lag low and everything exactly the way I want it. It was super annoying. Also, is the game loud? Because I have to completely readjust audio levels now. Sneaky, thanks for gifting five memberships on YouTube. Hello YouTube frogs too. Sounds fine. Okay, I gotta turn it down on my end then because it is super loud for me. Why not BizHawk over P64? BizHawk, I'm pretty sure, has like the worst input lag. At least last I checked. I didn't even bother trying. I'm not a big PJ fan either, but... I... I felt like... N64 had too many, like, even aside from the visual thing, N64 had too many issues. Like, the original reason I was on N64 is because between, like, control issues and stuff, I, I thought I would just prefer playing on N64 compared to Emulator, because Emulator has so many annoying control issues. But then, combine the stuff like I couldn't turn directly 90 degrees, on N64 and the lag and like a bunch of stuff was just piling up and not being able to see things in the distance like there was just a lot of things piling up that made me annoyed at N64 and I just thought okay there might actually be fewer downsides to emulator than N64 overall yeah next OTMM will probably be on emulator unless I decide to stop using this VC is not an option for OOTMM uh, randomizer. It is for MM, but I'm specifically playing a lot of MM randomizer in order to play more OOTMM randomizer. So, like, I want to play on whatever that I can play OOTMM on. Yeah, I tested emulator out, like, the last two days I spent uh, configuring emulator stuff, try to get it just the way I like it. Couldn't get everything perfect, but I think I nailed down most things. I had to do some weird settings, though. I had to mess with some, like, frame buffer settings, which it says could cause issues, but I, I ran through a test seed and I didn't encounter any issues. Although, I'm probably going to still have to mess with it because I know that it randomly crashes pausing in OOT. So for OOT MM Rando, I'm going to have to figure out that. I did a seed without you guys. It was a test seed. It wasn't interesting. <laughs> Emu dies of cringe. I I didn't want to play on emulator either, but N64 was getting on my nerves. Yeah, it visually should look a lot better also.
Get the 4K texture pack? No. I'm not <laughs> not playing with the 4K texture pack. I I actually didn't do any enhancement stuff um, because I'm worried about input lag because I was when messing with like some of the enhancement settings it definitely seemed like some of them could cause input lag. So I just kind of went with none of them. And input lag on default settings is like really bad. Like it was almost a deal breaker for me. Is this 1080p or 1440p? Uh, I think I have my resolution set to 1200p. Or let me let me check. Uh, yeah, I have my. I, I'm playing in windowed mode. The windowed resolution is 1600 by 1200. Although on stream it's only 1080p because I'm only streaming at 1080p. Homebrew switch would not work for OOTM Rando. Again, this is all, all of this is centered around how do I play OOTM Rando the best. And whatever I play OOTM on, I'm going to play regular MM Rando on. So that I don't have to continually switch between them. Retroarch. I didn't test Retroarch. I was going to, but then I kind of figured out PS64 stuff that worked out well. From what I heard, PS64 should still be better than Retroarch. I guess I could mess with it. Yeah, and yeah, I'm pretty sure Retroarch is just Moopin, and I don't think Moopin is going to be better than PS64. Oh yeah, so the reason, so, yeah, I am doing glitch logic and three out of four boss remains for now. I might switch it back to all four boss remains uh, for glitch logic, considering it shouldn't be impossible anymore. Um, this is just going to be essentially a test just to see how I like it. I could switch back to all four remains um, for glitch logic, but got to test first. This does support save states. I will not use save states. Yeah, I I am staying far away from Bizhawk. I despise Bizhawk. Anytime I've ever had to play Bizhawk has been miserable. Uh, Bitstock was the original one that you had to use for OOT Online and um, Multi-World. I mean, now, like the most recent OOT Online we did, that was on uh, that was on ship. But yeah, before ship, um, yeah, you had to use Bizhawk, Bizhawk or Mod Loader. But but I'm pretty sure Mod Loader was like an offshoot of Bizhawk. Yeah, mod loader was terrible. I I hate mod loader. I never want to play mod loader again. Emulator does have GameCube controller support. Uh, I mean, it has like any USB controller support. Um, I had previous issues with like. Not having the inputs like be exactly the way I want and input lag and stuff like that. I had to spend a lot of time. Uh, I had to spend a lot of time trying to mess with input settings to get everything just the way I like it. 
Um, I hope, I think I did it good enough. I think I have it pretty well, pretty good, but, uh, yeah, I had to mess with stuff a lot before I can actually get it to work well. I'm still on my same uh, GameCube controller. No controller change. Yeah, and hopefully the quality, the, the quality improvement is nice. F? Hello? Mini F? Okay. Oh, do I still have my game on Ocarina of Time? Whoopsie. Can't believe I was falsely advertising my stream. Gamba, oh yeah. Uh, Gamba real quick. Okay, here, so I'm starting it late. I'm just gonna do it two minute, two minute Gamba. Since I'm already stalling enough. Glitch logic instead of no logic because I got two uh, impossible C's in a row with no logic. What's input lag on emulator like for me? Uh, so with default settings, emulator input lag was pretty bad. I messed with some frame buffer settings, which I know you shouldn't mess with, but uh, I turned some here. Let me check what the exact settings I did. Um, I, I changed frame buffer swap to color buffer change rather than vertical interrupt, which says that it might have some game issues, but uh, from some testing, I didn't find any issues with it. So hopefully it's good. And then I, but I also set a uh, copy video card frame buffer to never and same with copy video card depth buffer to never. Which both of them seem like they were a bit sus on settings to change, but seem to have no issues. And then with both of those, input lag is uh, reasonable. Display port to VJ adapter. Uh, I mean, the input lag, I'm pretty sure, is the emulator itself, not my display lag. Like, I have a very low lag monitor, so. Uh, I don't think using an adapter to display it on my CRT is going to do anything. Like, I think um, I looked at the monitor I have on one of those input lag, uh, like display lag sites that like says the true input lag of it. And the monitor I'm using has like eight milliseconds of input lag, which I mean, is probably still more than a CRT, like just barely. But the input lag, like, way more of it is coming from the emulator. But yeah, so far with the, the frame buffer settings I have, it seemed to reduce input lag a decent amount. I was outputting to a CRT. Now that I'm on emulator, I am not on a CRT, but... If I'm not playing on emulator, yes, I'm playing on a CRT. Oh yeah, I, I forgot I do need more YouTube mods. Sneaky, okay. Sneaky. Here. Uh. Here, sneaky, you are mod. F? Why is it F? 
I don't play on VC for MMR because I can't play OOT MM rando on VC. So I don't want to... I don't want to play a bunch of MM Rando on VC, and then when I do OOT MM Rando, I have to use either N64 or Emulator, which I'm not used to. I want to play on what I'm used to. Alright, I want to get used to one thing and not have to switch between. But yeah, sorry, sorry YouTube chat, I do need to get more YouTube mods. Uh, eventually I will stop just saying that and actually do something about it. Can I name the file C? No. Okay, actually start. Love the starting sound. Love to start. It's always a good, good seed when you start out just hearing Goron scream. Okay, Cafe has spin attack. Okay, Woodfall entrance is Grey Bay. That's interesting, because that means I can do a zeroth day wrong warp to skip uh I can do a zeroth day wrong warp to skip Nui Bossa Nova if needed. I mean it's a glitch logic, so I probably won't need to, but possible. Yeah, I can finally see distant objects with more than two pixels. Nice. Death block times way hero. Oh yeah, and also because I'm doing glitch logic, I, I get way of the hero hints now. Which is nice. Oh my god, please. Although South Clock Town is very broad. Oh my god. Dude. Dude. Oh my god. Dude. This isn't hard. Dude, I don't want to waste this much time on it. Should not take that long. It's Talon. Thanks for getting 50 subs. Wow. Surely that one was not a misclick. Okay, that's useless. Alright, I should actually be able to see this now. 
That's a uh, woodfall or snowhead fairy. Oh yeah, I gotta mark. I always forget to mark my starting stuff. Ocarina, Song of Time, Song of Soaring, and Sticks. How awful is pause buffering? Uh, I managed to get pause buffering to be pretty reasonable. Uh, it's like, pausing is about as fast as VC, but feels like it's a little bit tighter in order to actually get the correct buffer, but good enough. Engine Cafe, okay, Engine Cafe's junk. Uh, Connor Castle Foolish. Uh, Ocean Great Fairy is junk. And Snow High Great Fairy is junk. Great Fairies can be something good. Pirate's Fortress, okay. Pirate's Fortress Interior is junk. Vanilla. Well, that's actually good. Okay, that's two rupees milk. That's actually super good. If I need a... Uh... If I need remote hook shot. Small F. On a castle foolish. Very cool. To have all these small Fs. YouTube lagged as well, not just Twitch. Oh yeah, I just noticed I dropped a bunch of frames. I don't know why. Yeah, randomized prices are wrong. It's, it's randomized prices between other prices. So, they can only be prices of other things in vanilla. So not, not like literally anything. Sometimes this jump is so easy and sometimes it's so hard. Dude, I'm so far behind him. We have to invert. I've wasted so much time. Goron mask, nice. It's still in route.
Fire arrows, blue potion, wallet. 40 rupees. 20 rupees. Uh, purple rupee for 10 rupees. Uh, I guess buy this. And then get this. No! <laughs> no, I was gonna buy the wall. There's supposed to be a rupee in that in that uh, pot, but I forgot it's only if you're at full health. Okay. Oh yeah, I should've just bought the purple, I guess. Don't tower stray fairy. Box, 100 rupees. Generous with rupee seed, 20. Oh, that's... that's good. Stone tower, okay. Powder keg is in stone tower. Actually, I should have used the 10 to buy the 50 and then the 50 to buy the 100. Okay, I need to make sure to get a look at the postman. Uh, is he coming back already? Yeah, he is. He has a purple rupee. Ocean Spider House items. Okay, so. Town Fairy is in Ocean Spider House. Uh, I don't have anything for the balloons yet, right? No. Cafe had a uh, spin attack, which is nice, but not something I want to go out of my way for. Yeah, Giants and FD were OP. I mean, maybe, maybe FD might not be. Maybe I can add that back on. You know what, with inverted, it might actually be worth it to go to the bomber's hideout right now. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, I can do this. You know what, I'm gonna... Just to make sure I don't miss room key, I'm gonna do this first. I'm rich. Fifty rupees. Good thing I'm rich. Appropriate song for the difficulty of this mini game.
Okay. Also want to uninvert. Don't we have to save grandma? I yeah yeah I'll save grandma. I want to uninvert now and then I have a certain route that hopefully oh this guy this guy likes melee <laughs> that uh, hopefully I get to grandma like around midnight. Okay, I'm actually gonna go buy that 50 now, so I can just deposit more rupees. I also got a Mark Blue Potion here. I remember in case I need it later. Okay, playing that game really made me feel the input lag. It's a lot it's like not deal breaking input lag, but it's definitely there and annoying. Okay, ocean spider house is junk. Yeah, PC MM port will be nice. Although even then... Oh my god. <laughs> even then... Whatever... I like, I'm... The reason I'm playing this on emulator is because I can only play uh, OOT MM Rando on either N64 or emulator. Otherwise I'd be playing this on VC. So like, even then... If OOT MM... If I can't do OOT MM Rando on ship, then I'm, I'd still do this on, on emulator. Yeah, that, that sound, that was the uh, sleeping Goron that you take the room key from. That was his sound. Bomb shoe, but no bomb bag. Am I missing anything on the tracker? I have wallet, uh, Goron mask, fire arrow, I think that's it. Even YouTube's buffering. Why am I dropping frames? I don't know why I'm dropping frames. Sorry, guys. Nut? Wait, I think you guys are super behind. Laundry pool is foolish. Okay. Actually, wait. Corn can... Can I do this jump with it? With this? I can, nice.
No way, Bossa Nova. Now this guy gives me a good deal. 100 rupees down to 10. F for frames, dude. Why is this happening? Screaming got my ISP over the phone. Dude, I did actually call my ISP a few days ago and they just said nothing was wrong. As typical. So I don't know what to do. I don't know like how to yell at them to get them to do something. Oh my god, yeah, this is so bad. Uh... McDonald's Wi-Fi not up to it today, yeah. McDonald's Wi-Fi is struggling today. Stone Tower. Uh, I didn't get a projectile, did I? No. Hello? Okay, that, that disconnection was intentional. I'm gonna see if it does anything, and it does not look like it's doing anything.
Okay, it might be okay now. I at least don't see an immediate issue, but I'm going to wait for a second. Never mind. Yeah, that's why I waited. I don't know what to do. No, emulator is not taxing on my PC. Project 64 could run on a toaster. It is not my PC. My PC is very good. No, I am not sponsored by Spectrum still. That was a CLG thing. And also, I never used Spectrum in my life. That was just... Just because CLG was sponsored by them didn't mean I actually have to use them. Yeah, this is 100% an internet issue. Dude. Streaming on two sites was perfectly fine for weeks before this started happening. I mean, obviously, streaming on two sites is going to use more than if I only streamed on one, but it was fine before, so something happened to change it. Switch to my phone's 5G hotspot. I don't know about that. I have reset my router many times. I am actually fairly sh fairly sure that it probably is throttling because I have been suspecting that for the last few days and I did try the VPN thing where uh, you turn on the VPN to see if your connection gets better and it does. In fact, some of the testing I was doing before was turning on and off the VPN to see if that does anything. It's like it kind of helps, but not helping enough. But yeah, I am suspecting that I'm being throttled. And I don't know what to do about that. Like, do I, if I, if I, if I am being throttled, can I just like yell at them and say, hey, stop it? I mean, they're not going to just stop it just because I yell at them, right? Right. My ISP is Cox. And yes, make the obvious joke. Go ahead. I know you're, you all want to. Time to run a wired connection. Dude, I have not been on a wireless connection in like a decade. You think I stream on Wi-Fi? Of chat tech support. Yeah, chat tech support's great. A packet loss? I don't think I've specifically done a packet loss test. Alright, this is now a tech support stream. I'm sorry, everyone.
technically illegal to throttle say I'm gonna file a complaint. Okay, I might. Yeah, I need to look into how to complain to them about this. Hasn't lagged in a while, is it semi-fixed? Uh, no, it's lagging as I speak right now. Okay, I need, okay, I need chat, chat tech support tips. <laughs> I need chat tech tips right now. Okay, so stuff, stuff I need to do before I go yell at my ISP to make sure. So I need to do a packet loss test. Pause timer. I mean, it's already been going for like 10 minutes. Okay, um... Someone said, uh, what was it, ping? Someone said a, there's like a ping, uh, ping test or something. What was the, the ping thing someone mentioned? Trace route. Ping plotter, that's it. Also, chat is super delayed. Waveform buffer bloat test. You can always unplug the internet and plug it back in. I've done that a few times. Trace RT in CMD. Is it just Trace RT and nothing else? Get fiber. Fiber literally does not exist where I live, or else I would have it. Google. Let me try this. Okay, so I know I know everyone says Cox is bad and everything, but I mean like for the most part I I do not have trouble with the most of the time. It's just like it's like 11 months out of the year it's fine and then one month they're just like we're going to be the worst ISP in the world. Okay, I mean, ping in Google, uh, ping time is like roughly in the 60s or so, 60 milliseconds-ish. F. Yeah, I mean, compared, yeah, I'm sure compared to Swedish internet, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, area based monopolies are fantastic. Sixty isn't normal. 60 isn't bad. <laughs> the duality of chat. Yeah, 
HR ping. All right, I will look into that. Just stream at 360p to simulate real N64. <laughs> Great idea. Sixty to Google is unforgivable. Okay, so sixty to Google is not good. Okay, I'll try the ping Google a hundred times thing. Yeah, this is tech support stream now here. Let me put up text. Might see outliers, some like over 800 milliseconds. Uh, right now I'm not seeing any outliers. Yeah, doing, doing the 100 ping tests, they're mostly 60, 70 range. Which, I mean, I guess that is slow. Average of 17. Okay, yeah, I am not getting an average of 17. My average is, yeah, like, average is like high 60s. We'll say 69. We'll say 69 is the average. Uh, I don't think, okay, there was one that said request timed out, which I assume is a drop. But that's only one out of 100. But I mean, I guess I still shouldn't be getting one out of a hundred either, right? I mean, ping Google should be super simple and should basically never drop, right? Also, chat is still like a minute behind. One out of a hundred is one percent drop. Yeah, exactly. So I really shouldn't. I really don't want that. Okay, the modem thing. I, so over the last few days, I did actually turn off my modem several times trying to fix issues that I thought I was having a few days ago. So, I mean, I could try it again right now, but I mean, I've already been doing it recently, so I don't think it's going to change anything. But I guess I'll try again. I'll try again like after stream because I'm, I'm probably going to end soon after I get info on what I need to do.
Also, I probably can't call them again today because it's Sunday. So I'll probably have to call them tomorrow. And soon. I mean, I've dropped 15,000 frames. I have dropped 27% of frames since the last disconnect. Do you want me to continue streaming with that? Would you like to watch only a third of the stream? Any other ISPs in my area? Nope. Yeah, honestly, bad connection is kind of worse than no connection. I know a lot of you guys, you guys are saying, "Oh yeah, totally, I totally still watch it." Dude, you guys would get so frustrated watching a quarter of the frames dropped. Stream is in fine for at least ten minutes. Has it? No, it's dropping right now. Nope, it's gone. You guys probably just <laughs> you you probably just weren't paying attention to the spinning bean. And if you weren't paying attention to that, you wouldn't have noticed the the um the stream lagging. Yeah, and chat is super delayed. Uh... Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna have to... I gotta do some tests and go yell at my ISP again. I'll probably have to do it tomorrow, but yeah. I don't know, this needs to stop. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna stop here. Uh, and see what I can do. Try a different cable. I, I could try a different Ethernet cable, but I really doubt it. I have tried like disconnecting everything and reconnecting everything. Um, but maybe. Will I save the seed? I don't know. Like I, I want to play out the seed because it seems like an interesting start. But I don't want to just like start it later. I don't want to just like restart the seat or something. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, Ken, Ken, Kensco, I'll try that. Assuming these are not like stealth delete system 32 commands that I don't know about, I will try those. Save state? I guess I could save state. I don't want to save state. I don't want to like just start the same seat over like two days from now, but like half an hour in. I might as well just start a new seed. Update Ethernet drivers on my motherboard, okay.
Because I do want to make sure like that I've done everything before I'm a hundred percent sure that it's my ISP being my ISP throttling me. But yeah, uh, I have a bunch of stuff to test and do now to figure this out. But yeah, either way, uh, I'm gonna go now try to fix some stuff. Uh, I doubt it'll be fixed by tomorrow. Mm, hopefully, two days from now or something. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.